Jose, save us from this conversation. Yeah, but let, let's go to we'll never stop. Let's jump into some fan questions. Uh, Hell yeah! Supplied I love by uh, questions. Yes. Um, Does half the work. So, for so these are supplied by uh, Ramen Nomad. Uh, first question: uh, What modern game would you like to see retroized? So three of the things that I kind of thought up beforehand would be: I would like to see Doom as uh, not not just like you know regular Doom from I don't remember when the first one came out, like what ninety four or something. No, before that, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But I would, I would like, I would like to see um, Doom twenty sixteen or Doom Eternal like as a top down bullet hell. So you can still see like everything that's going on, but it's still basically all the same gameplay mechanics. Uh, The second one would be Dark Souls, but but basically within the framework of Links of the Past, where it's just top down. Um. I don't know. I feel like Zelda games could already be that if they just ratcheted up the the difficulty a bit. Um, but no, there was uh, what was the game? Uh, Salt and Sanctuary came out on PS4. It was basically a 2D side scroller version of that. I guess like before, like even Hollow Knight was out. Uh, but but the one I'm actually most interested interested to see, which would actually be cool since the formula is already there. Uh, the Evil Within as a classic Resident Evil game, like on the PS One, mm. I think would be pretty mm, fucking cool. That is interesting. Mm-hmm. It might be hard, mm. granted, with how the first <laughs> game is like constantly shifting levels and stuff. Like, I don't think it'd be possible on that original hardware. But if it's just like in the style of like that aesthetic, uh, like PS One aesthetic, then yeah, I think it'd be cool. I mean, Silent Hill One had nowhere which was literally just an amalgamation of both like areas you've been to and areas that just you have seen but not been to, you could absolutely do like a shifting realities thing like that. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily, well, actually, no, it could even be in front of you because literally there was a scene in Silent Hill 1 where you see the world change and it's actually done in a pretty decent way, even for the 90s. See what what would uh, you guys like to see? Let's well, I mean, the 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 one thing I'd say to your last comment though, Jose, is that uh, puppet combo that indie developer team exists, and they're basically doing that. Like they're making modern day horror premises into like old school horror games that were meant for like the like PlayStation One and stuff. I thought puppet and, combo was one guy. Uh, is it one guy? I thought, I thought it, it was a team. Oh so, yeah. Oh my god, that makes it even better. Oh my god. <laughs> Cause those games kick so much ass. And they're basically just like modern day horror titles, but made in like lesser bits and incre- incredibly well done and incredibly ter- terrifying. Tangential question. Uh now that it is 2021, what is the cutoff for something to be retro? Because someone pointed it out to me that fi- conversation. that Final Fantasy X came out 20, 20 years, years ago. ago. Yeah. It's an old game. Yeah. I We're would say old. anything pre 360 and PS3 is yeah. retro at this point. No. That makes me PS2, feel I don't I don't like PS2 that. PS2 is definitely <laughs> PS2 I don't like is definitely that. retro. Let's see. <laughs> to me um, it's still like Super Nintendo. Jose, yeah. you're like this four is or where, five years um, younger than me. You don't get to complain about this. <laughs> this is where I'm going to expose myself as someone that doesn't actually play very many modern games. I mostly play an MMO in like fighting games from 10 years ago. Um <laughs> but uh, and this is a slightly mean answer. Uh, I would make Street Fighter V retro so that it looks like Street Fighter Three. <laughs> and that's all that I would do. That's it. That's all I would do. And just make call it have it, the, the yeah. I'd make it look like Street Fighter Three and have like the sound design and aesthetic of Street Fighter Three. And that's all I would change. Oh my God, Mesa, what about um, you? Uh, I think I would do um. Uh, the Batman Arkham series. Ooh, that'd be good. Traditional Metroidvanias. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that'd be cool. Be fun. That would basically yeah. be like they've already done that too, like like uh Black Gates. I never played it, but it was supposed to be like I more mean, in that two D vein, right? I, yeah. I guess I guess you could say they did that. On paper. <laughs> what that even I don't know. I didn't play those games. I don't know. I'm just, Is I'm it just making cheating? a joke. To say System Shock 3 in the style of System Shock 2, because that game's probably never coming out, so I could at least stream. Yes. <laughs> yes. <No>! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's cheating. Say no! game's not out yet. But oh it's God. probably never coming out. It could, you don't know. <laughs> it's gonna like be Duke Nukem cool. Forever came out, anything's possible. 
Oh god. Um, I mean, the only thing I could think of this was something like Resident Evil Five, like in like original mm. Resident Evil, but like there's no co-op in it, so just big beefy Chris like punching things with a fixed oh camera. God. What, what about, <laughs> this isn't my answer, this is just me bringing up a fun thing that makes me feel old. Remember when Resident Evil Zero was supposed to be a Nintendo 64? Yeah, experience? I remember yes. that. Yes. And there was like a play demo, not that we could play, but like that was shown on. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Um, yeah. My answer is kind of a cheat, but it fits perfectly for this question, so I can't help but say it. Um, I would want to see Yakuza 7 have <clears throat> a classic top-down uh, RPG way to play it in the same vein of how like Dragon Quest XI has like the pixel classic mode, mm. um, and I think that would work perfectly for that because of the fact that the main character is just such a fucking like JRPG Dragon Quest nut. I think that's a good one. I don't even yeah, think that's absolutely. cheating. I want that. I've wanted that ever since the fucking game came out. I've just been like, please make this a thing that you it put as DLC. I'll pay. How much would it. you? I don't care. If, if they dropped it as DLC, how much would you pay for that? I'd pay probably up to twenty dollars for it. I'll be real. And that's that's like that's like bad price. That's like I'm part of the problem at that point, but I still do it. <laughs> I'm surprised no one has said blood bloodborne yet, because I because I would have countered with nightmare creatures. Oh, have you have you guys <laughs> seen? Um, I was thing. about to say. Have you guys? Same I, thing. I, I, I forget What's I forget the, the the app for the person that's doing it, but someone's making a PS1 version yeah, of uh, it looks bloodborne. Like, um, Fuck, just there's this like old PS1 creatures. game. Isn't is not is it Nightmare Creatures? You're probably thinking of Nightmare Creatures because it looks no, no, totally no, it, like it, it, it's <laughs> legit. Like an axe and bandages. It's legit. Somebody um just remaking Bloodborne, but PS1. Yeah. I remember uh, the game thing. It was an old PS1 game. It's kind of like it's kind of like a Bloodborne esque thing, but he has like a spear, and I remember the spear move set was really fun. Was, oh, I, think it, it, I think it might have been Nightmare it, Creatures. It oh yeah, have I'm a seeing a picture of a guy with a spear. It's definitely this. Yeah, one. because Nightmare Creatures I had. I think a, I had a demo disc of it. Yeah, they had a male main character and a female main character that you could choose from, and they both had different stories. And yeah. it was basically Bloodborne on the uh, PlayStation One. The uh, the person behind Castlevania yeah. 64 clone. I'm, I understand. Oh yeah. The uh, person behind the uh, PS1 Ble- Bloodborne remake on Twitter, at least, is uh, goes at at uh, bot botster with the O being a zero. I'll put that in chat. It, I, I recommend everyone looks at it because it looks fucking sick, it and really I would yeah, absolutely play dope. it. 